As I'm sure you know, Critical Role's Campaign 3 is officially kicked off, and in this video, I want to take a look at how Matt Mercer started off this new campaign. When I was first learning to DM, and even still now, I like to watch other Dungeon Masters to learn how they do things, and so in this video, I'm going to be looking at how Matt Mercer started his new campaign, things that I liked about it, and how I would morph it to fit my table. So let's get started. I really like the way Matt Mercer started this off. I have done similar starts into my campaigns before, and what he did was broke his party down into a couple different groups. He had everyone leave the table except for two players. They got to play for about half an hour. Then he brought in the next group. They got to play for about a half an hour. Then he brought in a third group. They got to play for half an hour. And then they all got into a fight. That fight was where they all got to start playing together, and the actual session really started. Now, some good things with this method is I find it helps the players to kind of get into their character and find their voice a little bit more when they get to do it in a smaller setting and not with everyone there, especially if you're playing with a group as big as Critical Roles, where I think they have seven players this year. Now, I don't think Critical Role did it to help all of the players find their voice. They probably did it more to introduce the audience to each of the characters before they got into the chaos of everyone there but still the idea is the same. Now, what I don't like about the way that he did it was that it forced the other players to kind of just quietly be there and wait for the first hour and a half or so before they got to actually play. Now, Matt Mercer had to do it that way because he has an audience and everything, but if you don't have an audience like I don't, then you don't have to do it during your first session. You can do it in mini sessions and you can tell each of the different groups, give them a time that you were going to play with them or get on a Facebook call or a Discord chat or whatever you use, you can just chat with them for about 30 minutes, let them run through it, and then whatever your meeting point is, whether it be a fight or some event, whenever they get to that, you end it there. And then we, for your first actual session with everyone, you pick it up there. Starting off like Matt Mercer did with a fight outside is a great way of doing it, or an event, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fight. Uh, but with it being outside, you don't have to lure the players into a specific place. Whenever they're walking through the city from one point to another, they can happen to walk past whatever this event is when you're ready to end that mini session. Then if it's a fight, what I like to do, have them roll initiative, end the session there, then when you pick up your first actual session, you explain the situation, the setting, all of the normal stuff that you would do, then you look to whichever player is first in the initiative order and just ask them, what do you want to do? And you kick the fight off. I also really like starting the campaign with a fight. If you want to check out my full video on ways to start your campaign, you can click up here. I'll put it in the time card. But a fight is a great way of doing it because I don't like starting it off just with role playing because I feel like sometimes people can get off to a, a slow start. It's a little bit awkward doing it at the very beginning. But if you start it off with a fight, then when you get to the role playing, people are more in the mindset. Uh, and, and I think it goes a lot better, which is exactly what Matt Mercer did. After the fight, everyone then headed to a tavern and it gave them a chance to show their character off, introduce themselves to the other players at the table, and show a bit of their personality. Then after they have done a fight, they've done a little bit of role playing to get to showcase their character a little bit, then they got into the actual story. Then Matt Mercer ended session one on a high note, a little bit of a cliffhanger. I like ending it this way much more than on a low note where they finish doing some easy introduction quest and then they walk away. It's fine to do it that way, but I like leaving it on a high note because then everyone is excited after the first session. They're ready for session two, and it really sets the tone for the campaign. Well, that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can also leave a comment in the description for any videos you want to see me do in the future. And I'll catch you next time.